Okay, as I may have uh, indicated in the last session, information classification is important. It is important enough. Um, it should be done consistently. Um, we, as, as I I'm sort of alluded to in, in one of the examples last time, uh, we need to have specific uh, classifications and a description of the classifications. How do you determine, consistently determine those classifications so that everything that has the same classification has the same value, is protected in the same way. And we need to ensure that consistency. Therefore, as well as having the proper policy, the proper standards for classification, we need to have training on the people who are doing the classification. You know, at the moment, basically, classification is done by the data owners. Whoever creates the data, they're the ones who classify how important that information is. Now, of course, everybody is going to think that their information is important until we get to the point that important information has to be uh, restricted from some people and then nobody wants their information restricted everybody wants their information to be available to everybody so um, we've you know we've got to have some consistency we've got to have training we've got to have people knowing what our classifications are and doing the classification properly um, so training needs to be done uh, so that we have those consistency. Now, why, why are we doing classification at all? Now, what is the benefit of doing the information classification? Because after all, this is work. This has a cost. So it should have a benefit. Okay. We need to raise the awareness on the part of our employees, and even our customers, and, and certainly contractors, of the enterprise's commitment to security and protection of information. And, and you know, so what is it that needs to be protected? How do we determine what needs to be protected and to what level? Um, we need to identify what is our critical information. Uh, that is, you know, an important asset. What is the most important asset um, amongst all the information that we have there? What is, what is critical to us? And again, this, you know, this is going to be helpful uh, a little bit further down the line when we get into business continuity planning uh, and our business impact analysis. We need to look at. Uh, the sensitivity to modification. You know, again, as I previously pointed out, you know, protecting the integrity of the information, um, ensuring that it's current, ensuring that it's up to date, uh, making sure that we know um, what is uh, what is important, how important it is, how do we protect that, how do we ensure that it is protected. So, uh, and again, you know, that enables us to focus on integrity controls with greater accuracy. What kind of controls do we need in terms of the, uh, the accur accuracy, the integrity of information? Um, what needs special uh, protection in that regard? Um, so all of all of those things, uh, and you know, we need to have a not just multi-level but multilateral uh, classification system. As I say, you know, we have been concentrating on um, what is. Uh, You know, what, what do we need to keep private? You know, that's, that's just one column there. We need to pay attention to the other areas. Uh, what, you know, so 
you know, what what is not just, you know, secret, top secret, you know, or, or important, not as important, whatever, but have, uh, you know, columns in that regard. What needs protection in terms of availability? What needs protection in terms of integrity, in terms of modification? Um, what needs uh, protection and, and special interest in terms of currency and ensuring that this is up to date uh, does this information need to be checked regularly so that we know how old it is all of these things have to do with our information classification and we need to do those um, so as I say uh, information classification is not uh, less important now it is more important we need to be doing more of it and instead we seem to be doing less of it or we're doing it piecemeal we're letting people do their own without training without direction without standards we need to pay attention we need to ensure that we have got this stuff properly protected when we are dealing with protecting our enterprise's most important asset, which is, these days, the information. You can replace computers. Uh, maybe the people. I, I mean, you, you can't replace people very quickly, and when you do, it costs a lot. But, uh, you know, certainly, if you lose all your information, you have basically lost your business. We need to ensure that we are protecting that. And part of how we protect it, part of how we justify how we protect it, part of how we decide what is to be protected and to what extent and how has to do with information classification.